So proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And the king, <laughs> yes, the king, he will be. country, night can bring the comfort of sleep and rest from the day's exertions. For others, it is the start of their busy life. Nocturnal creatures using the dark to hunt for food and venture from their homes. But the night can also hold dangers, and a night threatened with a storm, more dangers than usual. out there. Rain on the way for sure. Cup of tea? Read my mind. I'll get it. Good on you, mate. That's what youngsters are for, looking after old fogies like us. Not too much of that old stuff. Black and two, thanks, Charlie. Good is done. You know, it feels like the sort of storm we had the night I almost caught the silver main devil. The ghost horse. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, heard tell of him. Do you reckon he's real? Thanks, Charlie. Ah, that's good. Now, real, you ask? Well, he was. Now, I don't know. He should be dead from what I saw, but I keep thinking I get glimpses of him. Tell Charlie about how you nearly caught him. <laughs> Which time? I tried so often, but I never made it. But what about how you used a beautiful golden filly to try and trap him? The one on a night like this. He hasn't heard it. Well, I'm not staying long, but I'll make a start. You see, Charlie, I've been after the silver gun. This storm, it feels the same. Like the, the night I was born, the air has the same magic to it. Look, Boon Boon, just look at the night. I'm in my element on a night like this, Boon Boon. I can't just stay here. I have to run, to breathe, to let it flow through me. It is like some sort of magic to you, isn't it? It is, it really is. I've got to go and find my dear brother, Storm. And the two of us will chase the wind together. Say hello to Storm for me, Dara. Thara! Thara! Wait for me! Hey! Hello, hello, hello! What's going on here? Thara! Wait! No! <laughs> Clumsy little sod!
out alone on a night like this? Go back home to your mother's kiss. I haven't got a mother. Ooh, nor you have. I see you now. Go back to Boon Boon. Hasten now. Who... who said that? Calm yourself and look above. It's just a friend who sends his love. Oh, it's just you, Mopoke. You had me so frightened. I was following Sour and I got lost and I... Do not fear, do not fret. Home's not far, that way I bet. Thanks, Mopoke. I feel good now. See you later. Being lost is not so sweet. But right now, I need more sleep. Ugh. Way. I think Thaurus heard's to the left, but it could be to the right. Ah, hello there, youngster. Lost your way? Oh, hello, Mr. Currawong. Well, uh, yes, as a matter of fact. The Mopoke tried to help, but... Ah, the Mopoke! <laughs> that old fool wouldn't know what day it was, let alone be of any help. Now, which way did you want to go? Well, I was looking for Thaura, you see, and... Thaura? Oh, that's no problem. I saw him go that way just a few minutes ago. That way? Oh, that's a surprise. I wasn't sure, but I kind of thought... No, don't think. That way. I insist. That's the right way. Now you can take my personal word for it. <laughs> hmm. I'm not so sure, Mr. Karawong. I don't think I should believe you. I've heard that you're the Broga's spy. <gasps> oh, now I am mortally wounded. A spy? How could you say such a thing? Dear sweet old me, wouldn't... Hey, where are you going? Sarah's back that way, I told you. Come back, come back. And it took line and sinker. Went right where I wanted him to. <laughs> oh no. I've done it again. I must have turned the wrong way after all. Oh, but who would have believed that Karawong? I must be stupid. Don't you think you should find shelter, O oh holy horsefulness? The threat of getting wet doesn't worry me, Karawong. Wet? But what about the lightning, mighty eminence? Perched up here on your rock, you might well get a 50,000 volt surprise, not to your liking. <laughs> Don't you worry about that, Karawong. There isn't a flash of lightning that can match the Brolga for power or speed. Ah, quite right, mighty thunderbolt. And if you act quickly, you can add a foal to your herd at Thaura's expense. Uh, how so? I tricked him into heading smack dab into your territory. Very clever I was, you see. He was lost and looking for Thaura. Enough of that. Where is he now? Ah, oh, it's no use. 
shelter in there till the morning in case it rains. Sounded like a human. Mm, a little one. Definitely a little one. Mm, that doesn't seem right. What's he doing here? What made that scream? Mm, that doesn't seem right either. Perhaps we'd better see. Mm, perhaps we'd better. <laughs> there, there, little one. Are you hurt? Don't move. Just lie there. It's you. The foal with the grey filly. I'm the one who let you free, remember? <laughs> I'd better see if I can get you free. He's captured one of Thara's friends. Mm, knocked him down with a tree. Keeping him down with a two. Mm, vicious. Cruel. Mm, heartless. We'd better save him. Not a good idea. Better get someone else to save him. Mm, very good idea. Thara? Thara. <laughs> Maybe if I try a lower altitude, there'll be less chance of having me feather singed. Ah! Well, at least I can't fall any further. I'm safe now. Fall in danger! Fall in danger! Find Thelma! Find Thelma! Fall in danger. Find Thelma. So. If the emus have gone that away, the foal must be that away. <laughs> that log weighs a ton. I can scarcely budge it. Somewhere. Well, Boon Boon, I really don't know what to do. I sent the foal right back to you. Well, he didn't make it. Either he's lost or something's happened to him. Which direction did he go? Where he went, I've no idea. But that was my direction clear. Thanks, Mopoke. Let's hope I find him before something happens to him. I do hope he's found safe and sound. There's lots of danger with this lightning around. <laughs> What are you two talking about? You've interrupted a very pleasant gallop and I haven't even found Storm yet. Forget Storm, Thara. What about the foal? Mm, the orphan foal. Attacked by cruel humans. Mm, beaten by branches. Is this true? Perfectly. Mm, possibly. Well, what are you waiting for? Lead the way. <laughs> It's no use, boy. I can't do it by myself. I'll have to get my grandfather. Keep still, and I'll be back. He's caught like a rat in a trap, under a fallen branch. Injured? Not sure, mighty one, but a young human was attempting to free him. What? And you just stand there wobbling on? The foal may escape back to Thaura. Get going, Karawong. Lead the way. Oh. Uh, Yes. I I mighty sire.
care for you. No point in asking how you are. I can see for myself. I'm sorry, Boon Boon. I was just following Thaura. I want to be like him. Oh, never mind about that now. There's no way I can shift this branch. I think it's a job for Wombat. I'm not far now, Grandad. Just over there. Steady there, boy. We've come to help. She's not budging an inch, must weigh a ton. Lend a hand there, Charlie. Are you push? I like. She's almost moving, Charlie. I can feel it in me bones. Yeah, but I don't think it's going to happen without more help. They don't seem to be getting anywhere fast. Wombat, can you help? First of all, you drag me out of the middle of a stormy night. Then you expect me to start butting me head against a log midst a couple of humans. Wombats and humans don't mix. I didn't know they were here, but it's just the old prospector. He's our friend. Ah, fooey. The only place I'm going is straight home. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> They've done it! Ooh. Typical. Typical. Steady, boy. Steady. Saved by a wombat. <laughs> Good on you, wombat. <laughs> I think he's all right. No bones broken. And Wombat's hides as thick as a tree trunk. He'll be all right, too. Oh, no! My father! Run for it, Charlie. He's after the foe. What is it? What are they doing? What's happening? What's going on? Ah! The Brogger! Oh, no! Oh! I can't hope to beat the Brogger, but at least I can head him off. <laughs> Out of my way, Thora. I intend making that fool a member of my herd. Ha! Ah. That's a pathetic excuse if I ever heard one, Brogger. Excuse? What are you talking about? To avoid fighting me. Ah! Your day has come, Thora. I'm going to prove who is king of the Cascade Brumbies once and for all. <laughs> Silver Brumby's leading them away from us. Uh -oh. Here it comes. <laughs> That's the way. The rain can't stop you, redoubtable Ramesses. Go get it. from this fight, Thaura, and it will be the powerful one, the mighty Brolga, king of the Cascade Brumbies. 
Sound. Yep. We'll all dry off now that the sun's coming up. Hey, look up there. Yeah, I thought he'd turn up sooner or later. The Silver Brumby! Oh, well. <laughs> off you yeah, go, boy. Back to your friends. <laughs> look at that. Glad we could help out. And you're getting to know the bush, Charlie, me boy. Well, make a good bushman of you yet. Looks like you had a bit of an adventure. I lost you, Thaura. I couldn't keep up. He was searching for you when the branch fell. Just as well the old prospector and his grandson turned up. Don't know how we would have got him out from under that branch without them. <coughs> and me. Everybody forgets about Wombat. Typical, typical. And I've got a sore head as well. <laughs> and you too, Wombat, of course. You never betray your friends, Charlie. No, Grandad. Everyone thinks of the Silver Brumby as a ghost horse. And I reckon you and me should keep it that way. Our secret? OK by me. We can do no more. Let's head for home. So the old prospector and his grandson proved they were true friends to Thaura and the other creatures of the high country. And the animals had learned to respect and fear the elements. Oh, Broga, Broga, always so frightening, but sadly no match for a bolt of lightning. <laughs> the young orphan foal Urala had learnt a great lesson. Being so young, there was little chance of him remembering it for long. 